Hi, I'm Kyle Koporopoulos and welcome back to the Antiques Home Show, where we appraise precious antiques in the home of our friend, Dave Kubitschek, with discoveries like this one. What do you know about this item? Well, my grandmother was an infamous smuggler in the early 20th century, I know. <laughs> and so while we were kind of allocating all the resources from her estate, this came up and I don't know the first thing about Egyptian hieroglyphics, yeah. but this looks very real and very cool, so. We don't get a lot of ancient items on this show, so it's extremely, extremely exciting that you brought this in today um, to get it appraised. And what Papyrus is known for here, Papyrus is known for its strength, durability, and resiliency. Let's talk about what's going on in this particular piece. Now, this is a sacrifice to the gods, if you will. You can tell by the way this man is holding a sparrow and a duck. Poultry was a huge part of Egyptian life. It was sacred to many Egyptians, uh, which is funny because I just had hot wings for lunch. When a team of archaeologists finds a beautiful piece like this, they have to take great care to painstakingly remove it from its original location and restoring it. If you take a closer look, I mean, look at the reds on this. This was painted 2,500 years ago. The amount of detail that has remained over the years is just incredible. I mean, look at the detail on the hieroglyphics here. This is basically a poem. This is a poem and a painting. So this is a true artist who really cared about doing a good job. You know why? If an artist did not do a good job, they would often be exiled or beheaded. And this right here is uh, basically it's a boat and it's saying I'm going to escape on a boat. This, this is actually a beautiful woman right here and this is I guess a beautiful man but I don't really like the way he looks. I mean he should have a better core. Now these are feet. Unfortunately they didn't have shoes back in ancient Egyptian culture. They would just have to go around barefoot and that's why they didn't live very long because their feet hurt really bad and they would kill themselves. And you can tell these people are locked in the basement with their frowns. So the hieroglyphics are interwoven as a way to say I think from the artist that we are all sort of one with God. Of course the Egyptians are incredibly spiritual. Didn't they have multiple gods? One with gods. One with gods, yeah. And unfortunately I can't make out what these four characters are really doing because it, it is a little muddy. Um, so it's not the most pristine piece I've seen someone bring in. Do you have any idea how much this piece uh, may have been worth at auction? <laughs> well, uh, a piece like this, 2,500 years old, with the amount of detail that's going on here, I've seen it go for as much as two, maybe even three million dollars in auction. Mm. Mm. It does look like, unfortunately, you did get a little something on the painting itself, so that might, that may affect its value. Sauce, um, maybe? Oh, it could be sauce, if you eat a hot one, it could be sauce, but um, I don't know if there's any way to tell. Oh, Dave, more wings, thank you. That's what you've been doing this whole time. Could be sauce if you eat a lot of hot wings. Could be sauce.